So another busy day and uh, going works a little bit slow but uh, we did finally get that first panel done. Here it is, this is the lower console uh, you'll recall and uh, just give you a sense how it is, you know that was the prototype or the mock-up, obviously the switches are being transferred now and uh, I'm pretty uh, I'm pretty pleased with this, uh, thrilled really, uh, and I mean that, I don't mean that just in some rhetorical sense, I mean it really is quite a thrill to see something like this, you know this is as, this is pretty close to the real thing, um, it's not perfect, um, but it's, it's basically allowed me to prove the, um, the idea, you know, everything from here is going to work um, pretty much as I expected. Um, if you look closely at this you will see, I don't know if you can see it on the video, but uh, behind this switch, that's the parking brake and this switch which is one of the um, data recorder switches, there's actually cracks, the, the top layer of acrylics cracked and um, I've been basically figuring out how to work with this material and it's, it's, it's a real bugger actually, it's very brittle, um, very hard to drill it, you need to use uh, oh, I mean, I won't go into the detail, but you know, woodworking bits work better, um, and I haven't got all the right sizes I need. So um, anyway, it's been a bit of an education in uh, trying to figure out how to drill holes without cracking it uh, or chipping it. Uh, another safety tip here, by the way, if you're going to drill this stuff, you probably saw it as well. Make sure you use eye protection because it does chip. Um, and you get some, you, you can get showered with some quite high velocity chips of very sharp and very hard uh, plastic essentially. Um, one real problem apart from that, I mean I've got, you know, once I've figured out how to do it I can fairly consistently uh, get those holes drilled um, pretty su successfully. Um, but one problem I've found is the sandwich is it is too thick basically for these, um, most of the controls on this panel have these push buttons, these uh, round push buttons and um, like a lot of these, con like, like a lot of these switches they're designed for a maximum four millimeters thick panel and uh, this by the time I get, you know, I've got um, two bits, t two slices of two millimeter acrylic, three I think hundred micron um, acetates in between and a sheet of paper. Uh, uh, it comes out, you know, it's more than four millimeters basically. Um, I think the toggle switches are going to be okay and they're the ones that are important because they're the ones that, you know, when you toggle them, that's a mini toggle switch, that fits no problem. But um, you know, obviously when you, you toggle them, um, you're going to wobble them in their sockets. The push buttons don't matter, I mean these are just pushed in, they're just sort of sitting in the holes at the minute and um, actually they're going to work fine, so I'm not too bothered about them. And uh, as long as the toggle switches on the other panels um, fit in the holes, uh, sorry, fit, fit the panel thickness and can be um, secured with the nuts, then that should be alright. Uh, these two toggles here, these 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 fit just fit in. Um, they're quite nice actually. Those little black nylon toggle switches, um, and that's a pull switch for the um, parking brake. So so yeah, the panel thickness might not be a problem after all. Um, and it, so anyway, just looking around the back, as I was saying, this, this is constructed as a box, obviously there's no back on it at the minute, and uh, there's no wiring done. Um, it's a pretty hefty structure, uh, it's pretty heftier than it needs to be, but that really adds rigidity to the panel. And uh, I haven't got any big toggle switches on this one, so it's hard to tell, I mean, that's, but it's pretty rigid, I mean, I don't think it could be any more rigid than that really. Um, we'll have to see for a 30 by 30 panel if that rigidity works as well. Um, so, so oh, yeah, the other thing is I need to be a little bit more careful about how I construct this um, 
I mean this frame when I laid this up and uh, screwed it all together I, I didn't really pay enough attention to it and the consequence of that is it's, it's twisted and if you actually look at the panel end on maybe you can see that it's um it's not flat <laughs> but it doesn't really matter I mean this is uh, as do they you know again the cracks you know you might I did for a minute think I would have to redo this panel but um the cracks they're inconsequential um, um, you know I'm not going to notice them this panel is going to be down at the right hand side at sort of knee height um, it's going to be kind of darkish down there anyway and uh, and even if it wasn't even if it was in full view you know a regular panel's gonna have imperfections and flaws and dirt and scratches and stuff on so you know I'm pretty I'm pretty pleased with that as a first attempt um, we've got white at the margins here and here uh, I can't remember why that is um, that suggests to me that um, oh yeah well I don't know I mean these are sp it's supposed to be 30 centimeters long um, it's obviously uh, it's obviously slightly more than 30 and also the um, the acetates are printed on A4 sheets which are slightly less than 30 uh, 29.7 millimeters I think A4 but there you go I mean if the rest of them come out looking as good as this I'll be well pleased and, uh, and it's going to be an absolutely fantastic cockpit um, and of course the the bit you can't see here is the panel's backlit um, so once I get some source of light behind that um, you're going to see a fairly attractive looking panel in the dark